What's up everyone, welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader 2v2. Today we are hopping in round 5, game 1 of our tournament. We are officially halfway through. And today we will be watching Saladin and Rat versus Sheriff and Caliph. And um, Saladin and Rat win this game. I think that they might take the tournament. This is one of the last stronger teams that they have to play with. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this game here. We will be watching a Caliph versus Saladin. Um, in the bottom lane here, Saladin building quite a strong castle off the bat. We have seen that before. Um, Caliph going to have the earlier game, though, as well as we will be seeing a Rat attack a very um, behind Sheriff here as he goes straight into this long wall that Sheriff does have built out. It um, will be an interesting game to see uh, how... Sheriff handles this early pressure that's going to be coming at him from Rat. So far, it's not looking like he's doing too bad as um, he's got a lot of ballistas that he's pushing forward. Really defending on these five ballistas for defense. It is doing quite a wonderful job as Sheriff throws his first attack in on Saladin, who is not prepared at all, but quickly getting to that. Uh, we know that Sheriff is on a time-sensitive miss mission um, versus that Rat in the top lane there, and a does look like Rat may be having some castle difficulties of peasants. No, he does have peasants. He just is getting one at a time. Okay, well, yes, peasants. Uh, that's that's all I needed to see. Um, it's not like he's a very big, impactful player anyway. Um, as we hopefully start to watch Sheriff get up and running here. Um, this ballista defense is looking a little rough and lights up the pitch to kill all those spearmen. Um, easily defended for Sheriff, um, that is for sure. We have not seen an attack come from Saladin yet, and we are seeing the second one come in from... Oh, as I say that, I spoke too soon. Saladin throwing out his first attack of the game against Caliph here. Uh, we are watching all of his men get absolutely burned. We could be seeing a pretty good defense from Caliph um, as his eco is pretty efficient in the back end here. This is a very good Caliph castle we've seen. He's got two gates to come into. Um, they go in and they're pretty much on top of the stockpile. Um, he is also with a good amount of ballistas in Siege, able to push into Saladin. Uh, should be very, very interesting of a game. Let's go ahead and check our order of merit. Um, it's kind of exactly what we expected to see here with Rat and Saladin. Um, Caliph and Sheriff may be flipped Glad to see that Caliph is doing so well. He's definitely been a big surprise for me um, in this 2v2 team. He has done a lot in their previous games, if you haven't seen that. Um, he's a pretty impactful player as Rat's attacks are getting bigger. Um, and Sheriff still just having trouble getting in enough crossbows to really defend against those. Uh, it's a very good castle. Uh, and, uh, Rat won't be able to kill him. And here is what we needed to see. Saladon coming with another attack, looking like he is in full swing. He is damaging him. And we are going to see Rat go down. We do see Rat go down to Sheriff's first attack. I haven't seen a 2v1 this early before. Most of the time, Saladon is able to get quite into um, the opponents here. Rat, before 1200, something to note. And now Saladin into a 2v1. He's got a particularly strong castle for the 2v1. His backside is pretty exposed. Boy, that's a lot of towers in Siege to go into. And uh, an overall pretty good castle. A lot of assassins coming in though for Sher uh, for Caliph. Could be devastating if uh, Caliph's assassins open up the gate and uh, the macemen from Sheriff roll into that castle. And that could be an ending factor to this game. I don't know if we're going to see it, but now we just have a fully uh, left alone sheriff to thrive here to get those assassins up, which we do know are Saladin's weakness. That is how we've seen him die. Um, the only time we've seen him really die on this YouTube channel is from just a crazy amount of European troops or the old assassin sneak as he goes ahead and throw his third or fourth attack of the game. Horses are starting to look rather large. Um, Siege didn't do as well as what I thought. But he is definitely starting to hit harder. Both these towers will go down in front. Um, <sighs> Caleb's got a few more attacks really to defend here. Some possible follow-up siege maybe for Saladin would really do him good. Here it is being pushed out. 
Um, fortunately, it's going to be pushed right into uh, Sheriff's Ballista, so that is going to work for the Caliph and Sheriff team. Not to mention that if Saladin does take down Caliph, he's got a very long attack here, and we are going to see Sheriff's first attack coming in on Saladin. He is going into five Ballistas here. Um, you know, maybe maybe not the best. Does trample all of them and also everything up the early game. This gate is going to go open. Uh, pretty good first attack. He trampled all that siege in front. And that is going to be uh, a lot of money lost for Saladin. He was looking to push forward those five Ballistas as well as I think there might have been a Catapult or two there. Um, looking really good right now for the Caliph Sheriff team. Uh, random burn here. Um, possible, oh, <laughs> dude got turned into a horse archer halfway back, started trying to ride away to freedom. Uh, let's uh, make sure Caliph isn't glitching here. I know we have seen a Caliph problem where he just starts firing it. Oh, no, that was, that was, uh, Nazir. Never mind. Oh, boy. Um, moved his siege farther back. Maybe not the move, uh, here, Saladin, as his siege was really detrimental in bringing those towers, and there's going to be a counterattack coming in from Caliph here. Will this be able to do anything? Probably not, because the assassins are getting discovered earlier. Um, this could actually be bad for Caliph. This can be very bad for Caliph. Caliph is going to drop here, I believe. <gasps> no. Um, Caliph, hanging on by an absolute thread. Oh my goodness. I thought he was done. That was a lot of swordsmen in. Um, he counterattacked. Saladin's troops went up the tower into his castle. Um, he's got stairs right here. We almost missed that. <laughs> would have been a very different game if that attack would have worked. Um, Saladin's dangerous like that. You gotta, you gotta always be on your guard here uh, whenever you're dealing with this man. <laughs> this is just a massive castle. Look, this castle is so big, he's got his mercenary post inside. This is probably my favorite castle from this mod um, that I've seen out of Saladin. I love how forward-facing it is. Yes, it's got a lot of defensive problems in the back, but when dealing with other AI, they're going to throw all their troops uh, into these front areas, and um, those five towers are going to do a lot of the cleaning up. This is the castle we mainly saw in the Saladin 1v1s, allowed him to win. We're going to see the second sheriff attack here coming in on Saladin. He doesn't have that extra siege. This could be really bad. Um, as Saladin is currently sending out an attack, so if Sheriff does get in, it would have been over. Unfortunately, um, he did not get in, and that's going to be fully defended. Now we are going to see Saladin's troops try and go up the tower. Unfortunately, um, was defended. Caliph still hanging on by an absolute thread here. Let's go ahead and check our order of merit. Caliph as the best facing lord after Saladin just attacked, as well as Sheriff. Not really surprising to any of us uh, as we see Saladin troops climbing a lot faster than Sheriff, um, even though Saladin attacked after him. He's just going to have better production overall as we see an attack coming in from Caliph. A lot of assassins going up. Uh, fortunately, Saladin already has recovered quite a bit. Uh, those knights aren't going to get in, and now they are easy pickings for the fire throwers. Um, this front tower is starting to look a little weak, but still has done an overall great defense. Uh, so far into this game as we see some follow-up siege from sheriff love to see that push as a tree battle is happening up top we got archers versus crossbows the archers of saladin versus the crossbows of sheriff of nottingham indeed i believe he's the fair yes and the scorpion perfect just uh very intense game Hmm. I don't know. I think if Saladin was had been able to kill Caliph in that attack, we would have been seeing a very different game as we see a large attack coming out from Saladin. Interesting that he built both trebs in the back. Um, something definitely going on here. We do see a siege tower going up. Um, let's hope Caliph can deal with this here. He's got a lot of archers, and he also has quite a bit of swordsmen. Unfortunately, I don't think they're as strong as Saladin's, but he is able to defend um, lost an in has taken pretty detrimental damage, but his ally is coming to back him up, throwing a counterattack. Saladin doesn't have much troops. If the assassins get up and open the gates for the macemen, uh, this could be pretty detrimental, and unfortunately, 
um, it wasn't enough a little bit into Saladin's eco here I don't think it's gonna take too much of a toll um, as he is able to stay alive Wow I thought sheriff would put more crossbows in his towers here this front tower has only got uh, five and his troops are also getting plus one or minus one I think plus ooh, no it's got to be minus one he's got fear factor right the red yeah um I think Caleb also is fear factor yeah he's got minus two on his troops oh boy and solid of troops I think are plus three plus three or four uh four so um a very talented swordsman if you will yeah look at this that is just a massive castle it's crazy and then he's got this big bad gate that never closes during attacks and is just able to eat it. Let's go ahead and go to the Order of Merit Saladin. I'm um, taking the 2v2, kind of making it look easy right now. Um, as a large number of assassins do go up into his gates or into his towers and into his castle. The gate is still open. We will be seeing it actually got closed, but it's going to drop soon. He doesn't have his normal fire throwers here. And here comes Caleb Swordsman into the fray here. Um, unfortunately, I do not think it's going to be enough. And no, it is not enough. If he would have had the Maceman of Sheriff back him up there, we might have been seeing something different as Saladin stays in as the top lord as this tower is about to drop. Um, he lost quite a bit of fire throws on his walls as well as archers. It would be nice to see him get those back. I guess we will see as he stacks up a large number of swordsmen. And Caliph's time in this game is definitely limited. And sheriff just attempting to stack up even bigger armies 335 ah, it's gonna have to be a lot more than that unless you're attacking um with caliph as well i like to see the replenish as a attack goes out this could be very bad for solid and actually no he stopped all the assassins so probably the other way around um as he throws his own attack with a good number of swordsmen Looking like Caliph is pretty defended um, as the knights are going to go up. And here it is, a battle on the walls between Saladin's and Caliph's knights. Um, I can't tell who's winning or what's happening. It does look like Caliph is going to defend again. Wow, really hanging on. Caliph doing what most other lords could not do in the 2v1 against Saladin, and that is to give his partner time to get up and running and sending those massive attacks. As we actually see Caliph, um, again, as our greatest lord here, able to really defend so well against the solid in attacks. And that is almost unheard of. <laughs> yes, I know Saladin did almost kill him, but it's been a while since then. He's been doing great um, as they both start to build up their troop numbers again. We will be seeing an attack from Caliph here now. Um, a lot of assassins going up, as always. And there they are, into the towers, um, attempting to clear out and the gate did close and it's into the fire burning pit for them uh, just not really what you'd want to see tower does go down gate is going to go down unfortunately um, Saladon has had more than enough time to uh, repair as he quickly gets everything back <laughs> and probably has moved up to the greatest lord yeah so this game uh, still in anyone's grasp here I really can't say who's going to win um, the video is hitting around uh, 14 minutes here, so we're going to go ahead and cut here, and I will bring you guys back uh, if anything interesting happens, and uh, we'll see you then. Uh, Sheriff and Caleb both attacking here, uh, both substantial amount of troops, unfortunately. Um, so does Saladin, but we will be seeing the gate being opened here and a flood of macemen coming in both ways. Is this the end of Saladin the Wise? as um, we do see a large number of swordsmen still trying to come up. Saladin desperately buying troops here. Is this the beginning of the end for Saladin? Um, now it does look like the fire throwers are able to hold off. Uh, Siege Tower does go up. There is a way in now. Unfortunately, I do think that it's too late. Uh, we're going to see another good defense from Saladin. Uh, let's watch how he recovers, though. 500 troops. Saladin counterattacking over 500 troops. 
Um, I can't imagine who we are going to be seeing win here. Um, this is not going to go Caliph's way, though. I am quite sure of that. As uh, Saladin's cast, uh, troops absolutely decimate Caliph's, um, the siege tower does go up, and the impressive amount of Saladin's troops do go in. Siege tower goes down. That may have saved him. As we see a lone Arabian swordsman finally take down Caliph. One swordsman made it through all of that. The tower dropped. He had one swordsman. Fire went down. Still had one swordsman. All he had to do was touch Caliph. Oh my goodness. I guess I just... <laughs> I don't even... I don't know what to say. Caliph has just done so well in holding all solid in that um, we really have to look at his efforts. And he did... Uh, extremely well they did they almost killed Saladin with that one double attack against them um, it's unfortunate but back to a another cut as we get into this 1v1 um, see you guys then Saladin attacking 700 and uh, 26 units here I'm sending in the horses uh, they aren't really making a whole lot of difference here um, as they all go down to their crossbows. Uh, Siege coming in here as we see an insane number of Arabian swordsmen come to the forefront of this attack. Uh, assassins down front left tower, down again. Uh, always has been happening. Uh, Siege tower on full health here. Um, hasn't dropped as all the Arabian swordsmen are making a beeline for it. A good number making it up. Uh, a very large number making it up. More than usual. Um, that I have been seeing, they are cutting down uh, majority as they start to get in. Um, able to go around here. Will the fire throwers be able to pick off enough? It does look like they are going to be getting up, and it looks like Sheriff will finally go down here, and he does. Valiant defense uh, by Sheriff here. Unfortunately, he wasn't attacking very much. It was just a lot of defense. And we do see just the eco difference of them Saladin having, Saladin almost having double the gold. Easily the man of the match, able to carry once again. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Sheriff, uh, very good defense. Caliph, very good defense. I was I'm pleased with both of their performance. And at one point, uh, they almost had it. They almost had him. So let's go ahead and jump straight on into the bracket. Here we are in the bracket. Ah, I've just finished this game here. Saladin and Rat officially being 5-0. and oh, And I think Caliph and Sheriff have lost twice. Just twice. Uh, once to Lionheart and Pig. It looks like um, Saladin and Rat have to play Wolf and Sultan next. As well as an Amir and Marshall. Sheriff and Caliph going against the Abbot and the Nazir. That'll be a crazy good game to watch. Um, those are probably... Um, two very evenly top teams uh, that I'm really excited to see play. Both um, are on the top of the bracket, so that'll be a pretty defining game there. Um, next game we will be seeing Wazir and Philip versus Emir and Marshall. Um, this will be a great game to see. <laughs> this was a really long game. <laughs> I think my video just hit an hour and 15, as well as I did take like a hour break to go pick up my brother. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.